What's up guys, Daniel Kazinas here. Uh, we're making the homemade jet unit again. We've made most of the rest of it, but this episode we're making the impeller and also the shaft and connecting it up to the motor and also making the motor electric start. Okay, so I made this thing here up on the lathe. Uh, I have to just bore some of the middle out of it because it was pretty heavy because this is steel. And I've cut these little patterns out of stainless and I'm gonna bend around there. Well, wow, look at that. It looks actually somewhat like an impeller. All right, we've got this impeller in the lathe now. Joel's helping me. All right, we had a bit of a failure. Joel was trying to machine that and it busted the tap. Heaps to take off. I'll try and do some more on the Lunisher. Let's go to the Lunisher. Let's go. <laughs> I like the... Oh, it's the stainless one. Stainless. See, we'll yeah, pack that back up and we'll just see where we're at. Yes, yeah, see. That's exactly what you just said. <laughs> Good work, Daniel. Might have like extra pack. Alright, let's get up. Look at this. Oh, dear. <laughs> Yeah, extra tax, that's a good idea, like extra you just tax, said. Like, like you just said. <laughs> Perfect. On. On. Start Earth. DC. DK, like and subscribe. That's it. Look at that, guys. Isn't just great? Speed engineering does wonders sometimes. Hold up. So we're going to be quick. Crack down the hill. It'd be good if we could hold this better so we can get the whole thing, but we can't really, can we? Well, not particularly. Alright, put that in. We could do it between centers, I suppose. Yeah, but it'll be chewy? Yeah, I All think right. so. Joel's just uh, making the taper. You've got to undo this and twist the whole carriage around yes. and use that thing and it's it takes ages. <laughs> <laughs> Righto, this has been taking forever and it's super dodgy. So Joel's come up with this idea of using the lathe to scribe lines on it. So we can just grind down to the line instead. So we've got a scribe line on each of these blades now to follow. So I'm just going to take the bulk of it off the grinder and that'll speed things up a lot because it was super dodgy in the lathe. Okay, I'm going to do a bit of work on the motor now. Uh, this motor's always been super hard to start. I've actually busted three pull starts on this motor. So what I'm going to do is make an electric start. So I've got this little motor here. This is one of those 212cc motors. And I pulled the flywheel off it. And took the ring gear off. And then I made this uh, ring up at work. And then heat shrunk this ring gear onto it. Which will then fit on this uh, cooling fan for this motor. And go on there like that. And then I also have the uh, electric start off it. Off that motor. And I'll just make that fit in there somehow. So let's make that happen. Okay, I just cut this out with my CNC plasma cutter. I mean, a grinder and hole saw. And I'm going to weld that to there so I can mount the starter motor inside. Yeah, something like that. All right, I just tried to tack this on here, but we have a problem. Didn't stick because this is probably magnesium. Uh-oh. All right, I've remedied that situation. I've just bolted through these steel plates here. 
Looks a little bit rough, but no one's ever going to see it, except for a million YouTube followers. Yep. Got another problem. Once this is on, I don't know if you can see it, but the Allen key heads don't clear. So I've got to recess them down in there. Why is everything so hard? Oh yeah. Right. Why does it just fire once and not go? Righto, that runs good, but it didn't run straight away. It was too high compression, so what I did was I made a aluminium gasket to put under the head to drop the compression down. Because it would start it just if it had a totally full battery. But if I'm out in the water somewhere and the battery's a little bit down, I still want to be able to start. So I dropped the compression, sacrificed a bit of horsepower, but it'll be all right. Okay, here's the rest of the jet unit that I made in the previous episode. Check that out if you haven't seen it. This will make a bit more sense. The impeller is all done. It's been machined, ready to go. I'm going to cut this pipe, which I've machined room for another bearing. And that is going to weld onto there. So I'll cut that and then I need to make the shaft up. Then I can weld it all together and I know it'll be all straight. Okay, we got this all uh, sitting together for the first time. I need to weld this to here, but I made all this shaft up and work. It goes all the way through to that bearing in there and it's bolted in. So now I'm just going to weld this off. Okay, I'm just fixing this other end of the coupling to a little piece here. I've got a uh, My Little Pony pencil DTI set up here. Just to try and get it to run true. I had a proper DTI for the other parts of that, but it's all good. So I'm just going to keep tacking this and moving around until it runs true. Okay, I've tacked that on there. I've got the motor set up. I've got the exhaust pipe on. Just got it sort of sitting on the ground. Let's give it a start up and see if it all works. Yeah. All right, that runs. So what I'm gonna do next is change the exhaust, obviously, and uh, make a little section for it. So over here, these are the sections of a boat I've made in previous videos that all just clips together. And I'll make a little section that like clips on the back so I can have a jet unit or just a normal outboard. Just put it together quickly and show you how it's done. Okay, so what I can do is just clip the jet unit on the back of here, but then that's pretty long, that'd be like, this is 12 foot, it'll be another two foot, so 14 foot. Or I can just take a section off and have it as a little one man one. Or I could even take two sections off and have it as a tiny little one. So we'll have to see that in the next episode, guys. See you guys, thanks for watching. Cool project, 
I'm enjoying it, subscribe and all that stuff. See you next time.